Mr. Sarkos, if I do this, what is it called in English? Is it squeeze? Mm. Mm. Maybe not. I am teacher blessing and all I do is to share with you my knowledge in English language. Are you ready? Let's do this. When you're forcing something out of a container through a small opening like this, you might not call it squeeze. It is called squirt. Yes, you heard right. Squirt. So you say, I'm squirt. Sister Akos, why are you excited? Why are you excited? Bad gay. Let's continue. I am squirting some mayonnaise into a bowl. Do you understand? Now form a sentence with the word squirt in the comment section. I often hear people say, my brother and myself did it. Mary gave the book to John and myself. No, these sentences are incorrect. Myself, yourself, ourselves, themselves, himself, herself, itself. All these are called reflexive pronouns. Now, what is a reflexive pronoun? A reflexive pronoun is a type of pronoun that is used to refer to the same person or thing that has been mentioned earlier in the sentence. In other words, a reflexive pronoun is used when both the subject and the object of a verb in a sentence are the same. For instance, John helped himself. Now, the verb in this sentence is helped, okay? The subject of the verb is John. The one receiving the help, which is the object of the verb, is still John. Now, you cannot say John helped John. Therefore, you replace the second John in this sentence, which happens to be the same John that has been mentioned with himself. So you say, John helped himself. I will do it myself. You cannot say, I will do it I. Does it make sense? Exactly. So the only time you use a reflexive pronoun is when both the subject and the object are referring to the same person. Or a reflexive pronoun cannot be used except there is a corresponding noun. You cannot use a reflexive pronoun on its own and say, myself did it. John and myself went to church. No, John and I went to church. The boy gave the book to my brother and myself. No, the boy gave the book to my brother and me. Okay, to make you better understand, a reflexive pronoun cannot stand on its own in a sentence. So, if you're using myself, you should make sure you've already used I in the sentence. For instance, I will help myself. So, I has been used, so you can use myself. If you're using himself, you should make sure that he has been mentioned already in the sentence. For instance, he can do it himself. Do you get it? Yourself. Make sure that you has already been mentioned. So you say, you can do it yourself. You can have it yourself. You can accomplish it yourself. It hurt itself. Do you understand? What is the English word for this action? Sister, of course, it's not squeeze, okay? This is a shoelace. Did you know that this part of the shoelace has a name? I am Teacher Blessing, and all I do is to share with you my knowledge in English language. Are you ready? Let's do this. When you do this, it is not squeeze. This is squeeze. This. When you do this, it is squeeze. But when you twist and squeeze at the same time, this action is ring. Ring. W-R-I-N-G. Ring. So you say, I am ringing my wet dress. I am ringing my wet dress. The tip of a shoelace is mostly covered with a plastic or a metal. And this part of the shoelace is called aglet. Repeat after me, aglet. Someone said, teacher blessing, if this is called ring, then what is this called? There is a word for it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Now we know this is ring, right? By the way, some people were asking for the past tense of ring. It is wrong, wrong, wrong is W-R-U-N-G, wrong, okay? After ringing, mostly we do this, okay? And this accent is called flap, F-L-A-P, flap. So you say, after ringing my dress, I flap it. My mother flaps her clothes before folding them. The past tense of flap is flapped. 
F L A P P E D. Continuous form is flapping. Now form a sentence with the word flap in the comment section and don't forget to like and share. If this is your first time, you're welcome. I am Teacher Blessing. Do follow me for more. See you soon.